first time of asking, Mr. Splodge broke very prominent, and Shantu Prince is being held up at the back. The other eight in between them as they come to jump the first of the 18 fences. And they're all over it safely, so it's a good start, and it is Mr. Splodge going right up towards the far end. A lot of ground being saved for the Middleton meeting, so they turn right round the far end, but really good conditions here considering the weather and an amazing covering of grasses seen off the frost. They go around then towards fence number two. Uh, Mr. Splodge leads on from uh, Day's Dynamo, Threepwood going up and the outside goes up to Dispute third place and also there's Matara, the other one in pink colours coming through very fast and they all jump that pretty well. So now they're going on left-handed around towards the home straight which will be the finishing straight after two more circuits. So Matara and uh, Abby McCain's gone up on the outside of Day's Dynamo and then Mr. Splodge going the shortest way with Opera Rock, the favourite just in behind them. Also Grouse Lodge is quite well placed, uh, going along quite steadily towards the rear at the moment is Jacqueline Coward with Roll the Dice as they come to jump the third and they've all got over that one as well. So pretty experienced campaigners some of these and uh, certainly going like that as they come back up then towards the next. Racing on down then towards uh, fence number four and still Mr. Splodge has the call, only uh, narrowly though, from Day's Dynamo and Matara out wider, and then three went fourth, now Roll the Dice has come through to go five, jumping that one just ahead of Grouse Lodge in sixth, then Operog was over in seventh place, and after that Sporting Friendship in eighth. In ninth is uh, Scott Scalic, and last of the ten, but going on very easily is Chantou Prince. So they're coming up past us then to race on towards uh, fence number five, next two, in fact the next three have jumped twice all the others three times and it's Mr. Splodge on the far side of Dayi's Dynamo, three with Matara over in five was Roll the Dice and jumping it in the sixth place was Grouse Lodge and Sporting Friendship, seventh Opera Rog, eighth in ninth with the advantage of the inside Scott Scalic and last of the ten but no more than about a dozen lengths off the lead is Shantou Prince so downhill they go away from the Horsebox parking area on towards fence number six and then the first open ditch comes up after that. Mr. Splodge still, just from Matara, Day's Dynamo, going quite well, Grouse Lodge and Roll the Dice there, up there disputing third, fourth and fifth places, Day's Dynamo is next, and then we've got Sporting Friendship on the inside of Threetwood, who's lost a few places, where Shantou Prince has improved and jumped the ditch well, goes on ahead of our Opera Rog, and after that one we have Scott Scaly. So they completed one circuit, Race on now to start to do it all over again, coming on towards uh, fence number eight. And still Chris Dawson has the call on Mr. Splodge, but only narrowly from Matara, who's jumping very boldly, the poor Abby McCain and Dehys Dynamo up on the outside, made it a line of three over that fence. Back right, to swing round left-handed then to go on towards uh, fence number nine. And now Matara, for the first time, takes on a clear lead over Mr. Splodge. It's Matara, Mr. Splodge. Shantou Prince has gone very strongly through the field and uh, sits there very handily now in third place with Roller Dice. He's kept to the inside throughout in fourth as they all jump that one where there was a mistake by Day's Dynamo. Grouse Lodge is in five, was just slightly hidden for a moment there by Roller Dice, but that one definitely in five. Day's Dynamo fights back again on the flat to hold six place ahead of William Easterby's first man sporting friendship in seventh. So all ten are still going as they come back up towards us once again on this second of three circuits, coming to fence number ten. And over it in front was just Matara, but uh, Mr. Spodger's regained a share of the lead nearly by coming right round the inside. Matara and Mr. Splodge then, with Days Dynamo, who lost a few places battling back, still going pretty easily. Shantou Prince, who's riding Christy Furness, we're just having a look over his shoulder at the opposition there, as they come then towards fence number 11. And over it, Matara and Mr. Splodge, touchdown just in front of Shantou Prince. As they come back up towards us then, for the second time, on the next circuit, they'll go straight on up towards the finish. Matara and Mr. Splodge still just. From Grouse Lodge, Shantou Prince, Dayi's Dynamo, who's come back quite well on the flat. Roll the dice still seems to be going pretty strongly on the inside as they come up then to this 12th fence. Matara, Mr. Splodge, Dayi's Dynamo, Grouse Lodge, then Roll the Dice and Shantou Prince. Three, would you just get a reminder? Sporting Friendship. And Opera Rock hasn't really got into the battle yet. Uh, and after that one, we have uh, Phil McSherry. Just dropping back a bit now, it seems, with Scott Scaly. 
but nobody's uh, struggling in the conditions so far as they go on then towards the next all traveling quite well Matara on from Mr. Splodge, just Day's Dynamo, just beginning to make a few mistakes, was uh, going much better early on and made another one there, and now he's only one from last as they come onto the ditch for the second and final time, at which Matara was the leader from Mr. Splodge in second. Sporting French, it's gone pretty strongly up into third. Uh, then we have Threatwood, who's uh, responded to the rider's earnings to go fourth. Grouse Lodge, five, roll the dice, six. Jean Two Prince in seven. Operog has now gone up to eighth place. And then we have Scott's Gaelic in ninth, and probably Day's Dynamo will be just about last. Indeed, was at that one and died, made another mistake there, Day's Dynamo. Really dived at it, and he's the first one who seems to be flagging. But plenty of chances further on ahead, led by Matara from Shantou Prince, who's back into second place, went well on this section of the course last time around. And then Sporting Friendship is in third. Mr. Splodge still there with a chance on the inside in fourth, driven into the fence there by Chris Dawson. Threetwood was over in five, now Grouse Lodge having to be pushed along in six, and roll the dice suddenly isn't going so well, he's dropped back to seven. Operog's never been better than eighth, which is his current position. Uh, then in ninth, Scott Scaly, and Day's Dynamo being dropped, tailing off in tenth. So up they come then with just these... Uh, Last two fences to jump and then quite a steep uphill run towards the finish, so plenty to be argued out yet. And Matara in front, but Abby McKay nearly lost her position there. She's just about holding on, lost us the stirrup. So Matara now being challenged by Shantou Prince, who's gone on pretty well as they come on then towards the the final fence, but still a long way to run from here. Shantou Prince, though, was struck by home and jumps it about a length up from Matara in second. And then in third, we've got Sporting Friendship. And then Operog running on, probably much too late, because Shantou Prince has gone for home. Shantou Prince out in front. Operog is finishing like a steam train. But Shantou Prince is going to win it. And then very close for second. Might just have gone to Matara, but one for the judge there. Sorting that out between Matara, Operog and Sporting Friendship. We'll get done for that.